All right, let's talk about call to sacs. Um, these are likely going to be on your class seven road test. Um, so there's two types that you can encounter. There's the one where it's uh, just a dead end road with driveways attached to it. Um, and you should be thinking, well, I don't really need a signal because this is the continuation of my lane with a big wind in it. Um, but I should shoulder check to the right before I get into the cul-de-sac uh, to see if there's any cyclists. Okay, so there might be a cyclist riding alongside your vehicle here. And because you're going to be steering over to the right a bit, uh, you want to make sure that it's clear. Um, and then you want to look out the left window to see if there are any shortcutters coming your way. So sometimes people will shortcut into their driveway over here uh, instead of going around the cul-de-sac and then going into the driveway. Of course, they shouldn't do that, but unfortunately people do do, do that on the road. Uh, so we have to be on the lookout for them. And the other um, type of cul-de-sac, it's not really a different type per se, but it's where it's positioned. So in this case, it was at the end of a road and there's no other place you could go but to go around this cul-de-sac. Um, whereas this one, the cul-de-sac is on the side of a main road here, okay? And so um, because you're making a left turn at an intersection, you first need to, of course, yield away to oncoming traffic and then it's just like a, le a regular left turn at an intersection. So <clears throat> if this is in a residential area and you're, um, there's no center divide line, let's say, you should imagine where the center divide line would be and make your turn a nice left turn. So don't shortcut into the cul-de-sac like this because this extends uh, how long you're in the oncoming traffic's path. So you should be making your left turns like this. Now, um, again, when you're coming out of the cul-de-sac, you need to treat it as if there's a yield sign right here so that you can slow down and check carefully for cross traffic coming your way, okay? So you might have seen nothing, no oncoming traffic as you're going into the cul-de-sac, but as you're about to exit the cul-de-sac here, you might all of a sudden be in a scenario where someone's coming down that road and you need to be on the lookout for them. So um, these are the two types of cul-de-sacs that I see uh, students deal with on the test. Uh, one is pretty straightforward. We're just shoulder checking to the right before we go in and go around. And then the other one is I have to also worry about the component of uh, the oncoming traffic as I go into the turn and then as well the cross traffic check uh, before I exit. So being ready to yield at this point before I am in anyone's path.